How's it going, everyone? This is Curry Puff. Uh, we're we're doing week nine early, so we're against Wakeman uh, this week, and we have a we have an interesting team. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna do. I haven't been. Eh, it is what it is in terms of how these matches have been going, um, with how everything has been kind of overall. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder to top cut even with some wins here. Um, I'd have to win out the next two matches and hopefully 2-0. I don't think I'm going to ever 2-0 Wakeman. Um, but we'll see. I'm not expecting too much. I've said it before and I'll say it again. My team isn't exactly the greatest. And honestly, I'm just kind of just vibing with it, I guess. That's that's what the kids say, right? What the kids say? Is vibing with it? No, um, I mean, there's been a lot of things that have caused these games to be a lot closer. I've had to play all ten of my matches uh, with playing Trunks next week, so that's going to be another important match. Uh, it, it's... I don't really know how to put it, but it's just... It's, uh, not exactly the greatest. Yeah, I guess the best way to put it is there's very little room for mistake with how things have gone this season. Um, for better or for worse. But I'll hopefully get connected with Wakeman soon. He's firing up. He'll probably be recording. Uh, I'll eventually get these videos up. I know I usually kind of fall behind. Maybe tomorrow I'll get them up. But for now, I'm not overly concerned. It's, uh, uh it's been long, long weeks, long days. It's interesting to say the least. Alright, so he's just getting his team sheet. Uh, I, I mean, all right, so let's just take a look at this team, right? I, it's pretty basic. Uh, we have the Crustle with White Herb. Uh, I have it sturdy. Battle Armor is probably the better bet here, but I figured sturdy might not be too bad. Uh, I could still possibly get a Smash Cell off and then go from there. We have Ndidi. This is a Figgy Berry one. It's a bit bulkier. Uh, follow me, I have Protect instead of Helping Hand, because his Helping Hand wasn't really helping me get the guaranteed KO on a lot of things. I didn't do too much calcs here, I just kind of, from the things that I thought were important, I looked and didn't do too much here. We have the Gastro. Um, didn't really know what to bring, it felt like it matched well into his team, really. Yeah, I mean, he has a bunch of grass coverage across his entire team. Like, I think the majority of his team gets grass moves, so it makes it a lot harder to bring Gastrodon, but I figured it might not be too bad to have here. Um, we have the Venusaur, which is the Chlorophyll. I actually have Psychic Seed because I plan on leading in DD Venusaur instead of the Ninetales Venusaur lead because he does have Sand and with the slower Mon. Uh, that can give me the Sand Speed advantage. Plus I have Follow Me, so if he doesn't go for spread moves, which he might just... I'm expecting Behem this week. Uh, I'm assuming Behem's probably going to be the Dynamax target, to be all, in all honesty, and I'm probably going to play poorly into it. But we'll see, because uh, it'll take advantage of the expanding force for that indeed he's going to be able to set up for it. So the Psychic Seed actually lets me live one. Um, if I'm... Well, I'm going to be going first. So I'll be able to live two of the expanding forces, right? So the question is then... I mean, uh, it's, eh, you know, uh, we have the Nine Tails, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Fake Tears, Protect, and then I'm all go with the Choice Scarf, uh, this does have Focus Sash, Choice Scarf with the U-Turn, Nuzzle, Charm, and Eerie Impulse, he does have a lot, and I didn't, wasn't sure about having myself locked into Charm or anything like that, I don't normally like that, but, I've, because he has very heavily specially uh, 
especially offensive team, I felt like that was probably the best case, and at least the charm helps me go into the extra drill, so there is that. Um, it doesn't really help me outspeed the extra drill and sand if he's max speed. Uh, it'll outspeed lower speed extra drills if that makes sense. Like top speed, like 280. I'm gonna be hitting 255. So, not great, not ideal, but we're not going for the ideal. I mean, I probably should have put Taunt on, and but I mean, the follow me is always going to prevent him from, or prevent me from taunting it, uh, the Behem. So, okay, we do see the Behem, we see the Neuburn. So, yeah, I mean, this is a lot of what we expected here, right? So, I think we lead Venusaur and DD, Nine Tails. I want to lead Gastro, or not lead, I uh, have Gastro in the back here. I feel like that's a decent choice to do. I mean, I guess if I want Crustle lead with the Ndidi, but I'm expecting the whatchamacallit here, the Behem, and I'm expecting the Clefable. No, I gotta turn this down. My headset's really loud. Okay, he follows me, gets the trick room up. Okay. That's not terrible here. I mean, what? We set up the... Are we max sludge? Right? Yeah, we'll like sludge the Clefable. Max use Clefable. Unless it gets ally switch, it might get ally switch. Then we're gonna protect, assuming he expects the follow me. So he is faster, that's fine. So he didn't switch, and he's faster regardless. He might max Quake into the Ndidi here. I don't know if he'd go into the Venu. So we get the Protect off. So we'll see if the uh, Clefable, follow me. Max Flutter by, perfect. So I think we max grass here, regardless next turn. Or do we go for the max? No, we'll max. I didn't bring the, whatchamacallit. Uh, We'll do this, right? And then we'll expanding force. I mean, it's not very effective on the exo drill. Okay. The pal down, that's fine. So we'll bring in San our sun next turn. Max Quake, we will live. We're not super fast and speed invested here. That looks like AV damage, to be honest. I 
I think we target the partner here. Bring in the nine tails, right? Actually, do we heat wave here? That was definitely AP. Could do this. Go for the protect, right? Effective. Let's max Quake. Max Quake Heat Wave? I think that's probably the best bet here. We're gonna be faster. And we're sashed. Noivern, okay. Smart. Did I miss the heat wave? I missed the heat wave. Of course I missed the heat wave. <sighs> um the earth power here. Let's go for the sleep powder. No. No 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 no. We're gonna switch in gastro here. And we'll go for the heat wave. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm assuming there's gonna be a tailwind that comes up here. We get the burn on powder on, which is nice. Ice being the Noivern. And we'll switch in. Now we'll protect this turn. We haven't revealed it yet. So we'll reveal that we have protect. He's out of Dynamax, so it's a little bit safer. Most he has is absorb with Noivern. He doesn't have solar beam. Slash, perfect. Yawn. That's fine. Ice beam. So he'll get the whatchamacallit in for free, the Excadrill. Oh, we know Excadrill has protect, which is actually kind of important. Uh, let's yawn the Excadrill this turn, because I think I can win actually with Ninetales in the back here and Gastro. I don't actually think I need Venusaur as much. So we haven't revealed the yawn yet, so we'll reveal the yawn. And we'll switch into the Vino. I hate to let Gastro go to sleep here.
Nice. Uh, we'll switch in nine tails here. Switching nine tails here, right? And we'll do that. Vinu lives, so that's fine. Oh, that's a crit too. So we'll heat wave here, and we can't do anything else. So that's game one. Okay, so that, that's not too bad. Uh, I only lost one Pokemon, and that's the Ndidi. Yes. The Burn definitely played a role there. Uh, It'd be prevented Venusaur from dying. And it did less damage on Gastro. So I wonder if the question is we lead the Crustle and Didi this time. Gastro, you know, I, I kind of want the weather control though. Let's see, how would we do this? How do, how do we change this up? Because we have the Ndidi here, right? If I go Ndidi Crustle. I want the Gastro. Now, does that necessarily mean I want the Ninetales? Or do I want the Venu? I feel like Venu is probably better even without. Let's do this. Worst case scenario, we switch the Venu into the Inteleon. Leaving Ninetales at home here. This will allow us to possibly do the Sword Stand or the smash, Shell Smash Crustle. Uh, we'll still be slower than the Escadrille, unfortunately. Okay, so that's what we kind of expected here. I mean, we could go for the flinch right off the bat, huh? Go for the expanding force.
Go for the rock slide. Because I, as much as I want to go for the X scissor, yeah, that's why. That's why I couldn't go for the X scissor. Follow me here. I'm gonna shadow ball. I'm just gonna go for the rock slide again. So no Dynamax, which is nice. Meteor beam. Assuming that's going to be in the crustle. Yeah, but we have sturdy, so we'll live. All right, so we hit the behem. No, we do not. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so at least we got the special defense drop here. We'll go for the expanding force, because that's gonna always pick up the kill. And I guess we'll go for the rock slide again. Helping hand. It's probably going to be expanding force here. We should live with the Ndidi. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to at least get rid of the main threat here, which is actually the... Uh, Helping Hand, Protect, Follow Me, uh, probably Dazzling Gleam, if I had to guess. So we'll bring in the Venusaur, we'll get the Special Defense Increase, we can bring him in safely here. Paladon, perfect. Follow me here. Max Ooze? Yeah, we're gonna max Ooze actually. Because here's the thing if he yawns, indeed he's still alive. And then we have another turn. So that'll give me two more turns of Dynamax. I don't remember if Clefable gets Expanding Force. I don't think it does, to be honest. A uh, Venusaur is actually slower than the Ndidi as well, so if I did want to go for the attack there, it would be a possibility. But I want to just make sure we don't go to the, whatchamacallit? High horsepower, that is fine. So no Yawn. We'll die to, oh, actually Figgy Berry Proc, so this is huge, this is huge. Oh my god, I put Figgy Berry on it. It's supposed to be Wiki. That's fine. Uh, hopefully we die. <laughs> we should die. Uh, huh, interesting. We died. Okay. So we have Trick Room up here. So we're going to bring the Gastro. He doesn't actually have a whatchamacallit to hit the Gastro here. Grass move. There's no grass moves. How many turns of Trick Room? So this is the last turn. I'm assuming there's going to be a double protect here. Uh, in the off chance there isn't, we'll yawn. 
and we will max Vine Lash the Hippowdon. We know it's not AV. We haven't seen Protect on it. We're plus one, so we should get the KO regardless. Max guard, pretty easy to see there. Yawn, okay. Rindo, that's fine. Interesting, okay. Even a plus one is still lift. I mean, I think it dies to the Vine Lash damage here. It does, okay. So it's 2v1. He has to target Venusaur here, and Venusaur should not die. So we'll go for the Yawn, regardless, because we should live. Uh, this is not a Sand Force, which is what we calc for. Uh, so we'll go for the Yawn. And then we're going to go for the Max Quake here. He'll set up Max Quake himself, so he'll get a plus one. Yep. We're plus one though, so that just neutralizes itself out. So Venusaur is going to get its first turn of sleep this next turn. He has one more turn of Dynamax. So, actually, two more turns of Vine Lash. Okay. So, if he goes for Venu, it, there's no reason for him to go to Venu. But if he goes to Venu, we, yeah, we recover. And we're just going to Earth Power into the Escadrille here. And then we should be fine because we can double recover if needed. Or actually we know we kill with the earth power at that percentage. Even with the plus one, plus two, maybe not. Max Quake. It should be into the Gastro if I had to guess. It's not. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we get one turn. He's now asleep. Gastro is going to be looking pretty decent here. So he now has one full turn of sleep. So we can attack freely. Or, we could go for another Recover. I think in all things necessary, we go for a Recover here. Oh, interesting. So he might have rec. Okay, no, so now we go for Earth Power regardless. And we'll go for Earth Power. Okay, so he actually had the Lum Berry, which is very interesting. So we know Rindo of Lum. We don't know what the Behem weapon... Uh, oh, no, it's Power Herb. High Horsepower. That shouldn't kill. Nope. Cool. GG's. Good games, Wake. So... Wow, we actually went 2-0. Uh, I'm actually really surprised. Wakeman's a really good battler, so it definitely came down to the wire there. So, whew, you, you hate to see it. Um, but no, good games. Really well, good good prep. Um, I, the the Lumberry really pretty much almost turned to that round. I think if you had EQ, you might have won. I'm not sure. It would all depend on the damage, but I mean, crit would have definitely killed me, and that's, with Gastro being as slow as Gastro is, that's definitely an issue. But anyway, good games. Uh, we're somehow 5-4, and we're somehow still in it. But, alright, later everyone. Bye-bye.